The world of PC hardware can be a maze of misconceptions and misunderstandings, but these misconceptions can lead us down the wrong path, causing us to make less than optimal decisions when it comes to buying or building our dream machines. From CPU cores to VRAM, we're here to clear the air. First up on our list is the myth that more CPU cores equals better performance. While it's easy to assume that more cores equate to smoother, faster computing, that's not the entire story. Software optimization and the type of workload you're dealing with play a significant role. Not all software can fully utilize multiple cores, and some tasks might not even need them. It's a case of the right tool for the right job. So, before you max out your wallet on a high core count CPU, consider your needs and the software you'll be using. Remember, more cores don't automatically mean better performance. Next up, the myth that more VRAM always equals better performance. VRAM, or Video Random Access Memory, is essentially your GPU's workspace. It stores the textures, models, and other data your GPU needs to render a scene. While it's true that more VRAM can help when you're playing games at high resolutions or with lots of texture detail, having more VRAM than your GPU can effectively use doesn't improve performance. It's like having a huge desk, but only using a small part of it. VRAM is important, but having more isn't always better. Myth number three is that DDR5 RAM is essential. While it's true that faster RAM can offer better performance, this isn't always the case. The performance benefits between DDR4 and DDR5 are often negligible in real-world applications. In fact, unless you're pushing your system to the absolute limit with heavy workloads, you may not notice any difference at all. So, while DDR5 may be the new kid on the block, DDR4 is currently holding its own just fine. DDR5 may be the future, but for now, DDR4 is still plenty. Myth number four, Gen 5 NVMEs are essential. Now, let's not completely dismiss the perks of a Gen 5 NVMe. It boasts an impressive data transfer speed, making it a beast in the realm of storage devices. But here's the catch. Unless you're constantly moving gigantic files or running heavy duty data tasks, you probably won't notice the speed difference between a Gen 4 or Gen 5 NVMe. For day-to-day -day tasks, gaming, and even most professional work, these older versions can handle your needs just fine. The fifth myth, high-end motherboards always improve performance. Sure, top-tier motherboards come packed with additional features, enhanced durability, and often a more aesthetic design. But do they always ramp up your PC's performance? Not necessarily. The motherboards role is as a facilitator, connecting all of your hardware components. It doesn't directly boost your PC's speed or processing power. So, when you're choosing a motherboard, consider your specific needs and budget. A high-end motherboard is nice to have, but not always necessary. The final and sixth myth, PSU efficiency ratings are crucial for performance. Power supply unit or PSU efficiency ratings determine how much of the input power is converted into actual power your PC uses. The rest is dissipated as heat. So a more efficient PSU will consume less power and produce less heat. But here's the thing, it doesn't affect your PC's performance. That's right. Whether you have an 80% efficient PSU or a 90% one, your PC's performance stays the same. A PSU's efficiency rating is more about energy conservation than performance. There you have it, six common PC hardware myths. However, it's crucial to remember that choosing PC hardware is not a one-size-fits-all affair. It all boils down to your unique needs and budget constraints. Performance benchmarks are a great starting point, but don't let them overshadow your individual requirements. Whether you're a gamer, a content creator, a casual user, or a tech enthusiast, understanding these myths can help you make informed decisions and get the most bang for your buck.